Hey everybody, welcome back to Cozy Ranch. Second weekend in November. You see me out on the range, getting a few reps in. It's go time, y'all. I had that spike come in early. He was right on a doe. I've been holding off on the does right now because the bucks are, are really moving the, the does around. Just haven't seen any mature bucks. Not saying that he's real mature, but uh, judging by the lack of headgear he has, he's definitely on the list. Just didn't get a shot at him at that time. He was kind of just zigzagging around, checking out the feeder, pushing some does, and then he finally just ended up heading off in one, one of the directions that one of the does went. What a great morning. Deer all morning long. Had that big doe in here that I've been seeing. I mean, she started out right here right downwind it blew at me a few times but still came into the feeder but didn't stick around too long uh, I had that big spike man i hope i can see him again like maybe this afternoon get back here this afternoon and try it again see y'all then friday afternoon november 10th Happy birthday to all you Marines out there. And uh, that would be my dad as well. So I just dropped him off in the, uh, the blind. Hopefully he'll uh, do a little celebration on his own with a deer this afternoon. But it is perfect. It's upper 50s. It is calm. We had wind this morning. Deer were jumpy. So I'm pretty excited about this afternoon. Let's see what happens. Well, that afternoon wasn't quite as exciting as it was that morning. Saw that little six point, a few does. That was about it. So we'll have to see what the morning brings. All right, good morning, everybody. It's 
Saturday morning. It's gonna be awesome. We didn't have any rain last night. Things are starting to dry up a little bit. Got a little more rain coming tomorrow, so hopefully we can get something done today, depending on how much rain there is tomorrow. We can't take too much more out here. May not be able to make it out here. Should be a good morning. See y'all after daylight. entertaining right there. That's some early morning action for you. Not even 8 o'clock. We have nothing here coming in from the hill here. So I've been watching all those deer. Had a lot of them come into the feeder right at that time. Little six point was kind of pushing and shoving does around. You could tell he was kind of getting interested, but they weren't interested in him. So they finally all wandered off. And a little bit later on, here comes old Spiker again. So the spike had come in, and I thought I was really going to get a shot of him. He came right into the feeder and kept straight on ahead of me. And then he turned, he'd go back up the other deer that was up a little bit higher up there, come back down, then walked over to my right, and he was looking back over, over my right shoulder there. I don't know what he saw, but he had had enough of whatever that was, and walked on over, rubbed a little bit of a cedar tree, and kept on going. All right, y'all. Him settled in from the afternoon on here Saturday afternoon. Had a good morning this morning. Saw that big hole, a spike, lots of does, a few other young bucks. So, feeling pretty good about this afternoon. Let's see what happens.
like he's still trailing a doe. He just straight line in there in the tree. Didn't come down at all, so it's all right. At least I know he's in the area. in that shoulder, y'all. I hope. I hope. Go give him some time. Shot looks good, y'all. Man. Oh, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out. I'm still choked up, y'all. Oh, I'm gonna go out where I last saw him run. See if I can locate some. Locate some blood. We ain't gonna look for it. Oh yeah, he's right up. There's, he's bleeding good right here. That is good stuff. Cause I know him. He came up and then I saw him circle back around. So might be a lengthy, lengthy blood trail. But if we can keep blood like this, that's gonna be good. Let's see what we can do. Oh, he's doing good right here. here. There he is right there. Hot dog. Oh, man. I thought he was going a little far, but man, here he is. Look at that. Arrow still in him. Ooh, he, he is, he is rutting hard. You can smell him. Man, look at that joker. Just a funky, funky looking deer. Let's get him dressed up here and uh, we'll take a look at him. Just a weird rack deer. I mean, he's figuring he might be about three and a half years old. And he, I thought he was just a straight long spike, but he's, he's got a little brow tine here. He's got a bump here. He's got little bumps back here. 
just, I don't know. I videoed them the other day, had them in there. You know, didn't get a shot at him then, and uh, he's just gonna be a good one to get out of the herd. I mean, he's, even though we call him a cold buck, he's pretty daggum awesome in my book. I mean, I love all of them. This is so much fun. I love this bow hunting. Nocturnal knock, it's lit up. There's, there's my G5 Mega Meat. It tried coming all the way through them. It's broke off up in them, so I'm gonna have to be careful when I get to gutting them quartering them up but uh yeah pretty cool 30 30 yard shot my longest kill shot to date right there i've been practicing a lot lot in the off season wanting to try to stretch my my kill zone out been shooting everything under 25 yards and you know I, i've been dedicating myself to shooting in the in the off season and man it paid off with this guy right here pretty darn cool man Gonna get him back to camp, skinned out, quartered up, and you know it, put on ice. Pretty awesome stuff right here, y'all. Thank you, buddy, for stopping by and seeing me today. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but when I was about drawing that deer, I brought it up, hooked my uh, release on my, my D-loop, and I came up, and I don't know if this happens with y'all in the tent line, but it does with me my pins disappear. Not the pin itself, but the fiber optic that's on the end of it. And you might think, well, that's all right if you're shooting those horizontal pins. But I've got a straight five pin in line. And man, when I brought that thing up, all those little dots up there just disappeared. Looked like one little, just straight little stick like that. And uh, you saw me bring it back down because I usually turn my light on. And that's what I normally do. And then it lights up just fine. Well. I found out almost the hard way that uh, I needed to recharge my battery. I could barely see that 30 yard pin. I mean, you set this thing down next to you, darn things lit up like a Christmas tree. I mean, but when I came up, I had to come back down, cover. But yeah, they're lit up, but boy, they weren't lit up bright, but just enough. So I get that 30 pin on that deer's shoulder. And it did the trick, you know, farthest shot so far still out here practicing 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 hoping to keep getting that that range a little bit more extended and uh yeah gonna have a good time that's just the first one this year still november we got thanksgiving coming up we're gonna be doing a lot of hunting then but until then hey if you ain't hunting at least be shooting thanks y'all i'm driving up pick up the deer and look at the doe right here you don't think she's hungry she had a buck on her, the buck ran off. So I don't think she's been eating too much. Bucks are really on these does right now. We're just not seeing the mature bucks right now. But I mean, I'm right here with the truck running. She's in bow range. <laughs> See if we can get around her. Okay, mama, you can go eat. I got one off your rear end for you. The well, nice thing about them nocturnal knocks, you can walk right back to your deer without too much trouble. <laughs> 